Good morning, South Rock. Welcome to a Mark Devo. Today is 9, 38 through 41. A really interesting story. So the disciples are seeing someone casting out demons in the name of Jesus, even though this man is not a disciple or really following Jesus, like, physically. Uh, and so they say, so we try to stop him, which I think makes sense. Like, that makes logical sense to me as a person, that some random guy is using Jesus's name to try and cast out demons like that's that's strange if you're not if you're not a Christian you're just like you know what in Jesus name I'm gonna do this like that's weird that is strange um but Jesus quickly rebukes them yeah maybe not maybe rebukes a strong word but he quickly corrects them he says don't let's not do that like let's allow people to do good things in my name and he even says you know uh if somebody is for us, then they're not against us. So, and he finishes by saying, there's a reward for this. Like, this is a good thing. And so today is not going to be a question. Today is going to be a, a challenge more than anything. I think a lot of the times in Christianity and people who follow Christ, we have this strange battle between denominations because a lot of the times denominations spring up out of conflict within other denominations. That happens with churches too. A church will split because they disagree and then you have two churches and they don't like each other for some reason. And so I think that's a problem because of what Jesus says here. He's saying, look, if somebody's doing something for my name, then they're for you. Like they're, they were with you in that. Even if you disagree or they aren't doing or disagree on something small, they're still following me. They're still doing something good in my name. And so I think today we ought to pray for the church and not, I don't mean South Rock. I mean the, well, part of South Rock, but I mean the global church, like everybody, Baptists, Methodists, Catholics, Orthodox, whether they're in Jerusalem or they're in Russia or they're in Australia or America or Florida, that's a foreign country, basically. I'm just kidding. But we ought to pray for the whole church. We ought to pray for every believer, even if we know they disagree about revelation than what we believe. Even if we know that they disagree about hot button issues, even if we think they're voting for Trump or Biden, let's pray for the church today because whoever's doing good in Jesus's name is for us. And we need to remember that, especially in such a divisive time. Whoever's doing something good in Jesus's name, they should be for us and we shouldn't stand against that. So. Today, I challenge you, let's say five times, make it five times today, pray for the universal church, and I'll do it with you. So hope you have a good rest of your day.